So Karen, we're here at um, Cannock Chase, Brockton Coppice, lovely um, part of the woodland, an ancient woodland. It is an ancient woodland, yes. We've got many veteran oaks that you can find within our coppice here. And it's, it's a real special place, isn't it? Everyone knows Cannock Chase, but you know, in terms of what we have on Cannock Chase, this particularly is a special little section, isn't it, it really? It certainly is. It's um, a beautiful area of woodland, um, like no other found on Cannock Chase. So yeah. you really do get away from it all when you come here. So hence it needs to be looked after. Absolutely. Now you're standing, if we can work that out, let's come around, cause it's a bit difficult to see on scale. As you're standing in a gigantic hole. Yeah, unfortunately we came across this last week. Um, it was brought to our attention. Um, there appears some digging work has um, been carried out. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately we can only surmise it's possibly for um, recreational users, possibly bikers. Well that's it, if we just... Site. If we pan across, we can see why they've done it. There's a hole here, there's a hole a bit further up as well. And if we pan across, we can see what they've been doing. They've moved um, some of the logs that have been chopped down, if we get a sense of the scale of it here. And they've been creating, well, it can only be your jumps for mountain bikes, can't it, really? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, unfortunately, our concern is the proximity to our um, veteran oaks that yeah. we've got in the area. Well, that's um, it, we can see them either side. So, I mean, how old are we looking at with these trees? Um, some of these trees will be coming up to uh, 500, 600 years old. Yep. Um, we're very concerned about the root compaction and the soil yep. compaction that this, um, this sort of digging has um, now presented in this area. Um, so possibly people won't be aware of that. It's not just the digging of the hole and the damaging to, to the roots, which obviously, you know, it will be doing. Yeah. But also when they're stacking it up like this, there's, there's compaction on the ground and there that can is. affect things as well. Absolutely. There is a knock-on effect from um, what people might think is just an innocent um, jump that they're creating for that day. Um, there is some long-term impacts yeah. um, with this sort of activity um, and a knock-on effect to our insect populations in the woodlands um, and also um, other animal species that we have here. I mean, we can see that what they've done is they've used some of the chopped down logs, silver birches and so on. Yes. Now when those are chopped down and left, they're not just left because nobody can be bothered to um, move no. them, they're left for a purpose, aren't they? It is part they? of our management of the woodland and um, we leave dead wood as much as we can in the site um, and that's to support our um, insect populations that we get here. It's yeah. vital that they have this source of dead lying wood. And I mean, you know, if somebody sees that and says, oh, well, it's dead anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's not necessarily no, the case, is it? not at all. Um, this tree has got a lot of life left in it. We're in the winter season, so it's obviously um, out of leaf at the moment um, but this oak and the surrounding oaks are all still very healthy um, and will go on to grow providing they are given the environment to to grow in and yeah. thrive in. So I guess the message out there is that there are BMX tracks already on Carnet Chase yeah, aren't there? We for have a number to... of um, bike trails and um, bike users are welcome to use our bridleways and um, there are set paths and tracks for them to use um, unfortunately this is not one of them. So if anyone thinks that coming out with a shovel, digging and making a little jump, quite yeah. innocent. Unfortunately. Yeah, please don't. Please don't, yes.